Advanced driving assistance systems. What do we really need to know as a technician concerning this relatively new concept that's found on all of the latest vehicles that are coming into our repair shops? So ADOS includes adaptive cruise control, lane departure warning. That's something that will go ahead and alert the driver anytime that the car, anytime the computer systems think that the car is is leaving its lane without having a turn signal on. Night vision and adaptive headlights, blind spot detection, rear collision warning. These are just some of the different modules and some of the different features that ADOS has incorporated to make the vehicles of today safer for the consumers that are driving it. Well, how do they accomplish all this? Well, this is a pretty sophisticated system, all integrated into one another. It all goes across data bus lines of communications, and we have stuff like radar sensors, we have LIDAR sensors, front cameras, rear cameras, we have surround view satellite cameras, we have driver monitoring cameras, we also have automated driving systems. So with all of these different types of components that are found on today's vehicles, you're 100% correct in thinking, do these require any kind of maintenance? and they work really well. They're not real troublesome, but they all have to be calibrated. Static calibration uses a scan tool, targets, and a calibration fixture. Dynamic ADOS calibration requires a scan tool, which indicates specific road conditions and markings to complete the calibration process. It's all calibrated based off of finding the center line of the front of the vehicle. So, this calibration process is something that should be addressed any time a service procedure is performed on a vehicle. If the vehicle is in an accident, that's a no-brainer. But something as simple as if they were to remove a windshield, maybe there's a stone chip in a windshield, they call the glass company out, that's going to require an ADOS calibration. Those ADOS calibrations may seem like they might be mysterious and difficult to do, but they're really not if you have the correct equipment. Basically, after we establish the center line of the vehicle, only thing we're doing, depending on the sensors we're trying to calibrate, and we don't necessarily have to calibrate all of them. So if I happen to have a windshield replaced, it's just gonna be the front camera calibration that I'm gonna be concerned with. It's always gonna be safe practice to do a state of health check first, so we know what's going on with the system. It'll give us insight if there's any kind of diagnostic trouble codes or if something is possibly out of calibration, we're gonna to have to go ahead and perform those, those procedures as a technician to make sure that this car is still operating the way it was designed to, to work and function. So what does it consist of? Well, typically it consists of using a high quality scan tool along with some type of ADOS calibration unit mobile or stationary, doesn't much matter. So we still need the scan tools and we also still have to know if I'm doing a static or a dynamic calibration. That information can be found on your scan tool when you can punch in and it will tell you what this vehicle happens to support.